Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fighter Frenzy, the biggest pay-per-view of the year, FMW's version of WrestleMania, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Sit tight, because we are in the UK for this one. Starting this off with Big Bad Judy's open challenge. And ladies and gentlemen, look who it is. It is Freya Murphy. Freya Murphy returning from injuries. Making her way down to the ring. Accepting Big Bad Judy's open challenge. She comes, the FW Women's Champion, Big Bad Judy. Big Bad Judy has put up an open challenge every week since holding the title. And yet, no one has been able to beat her so far in her reign. Can Freya Murphy pull this off? Here tonight, Fighter Frenzy 2, the biggest pay per view of the year. I wonder if Freya Murphy has what it takes to put away Big Bad Judy. Introducing the challenger from London, England, Faria Murphy. Introducing the champion from Austin, Texas. She is the women's champion, Big Bad Judy. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The title is up. Freya Murphy, Big Bad Judy. The bell has rung and this one is on the way. Freya Murphy coming in hot. Freya Murphy has a lot to prove against someone like Big Bad Judy who has already defended her belt three times. Oh, oh, what a suplex by Freya. Freya coming in with the chop across her. Oh, but Big Bad Judy with the kick. Big Bad Judy stomping away and then one hell of an elbow. Big Bad Judy staying on top of her opponent. Big Bad Judy going to that middle rope. It comes off of the knee. Right on to Freya Murphy. Pick a Freya Murphy up. Big Bad Judy with an elbow. Oh, and into a nice, oh, but reversal of Freya Murphy. Freya Murphy sending Big Bad Judy in the corner. Oh, going for a kick, but nobody home. Big Bad Judy with a kick, but somebody was there. She fell to the mat.
Big Bad Judy with the right hand knocks Freya Murphy to the top. Big Bad Judy going to the top rope. Here she dives off. Oh, but meets the knees of Freya Murphy. Freya Murphy back into the ring. Big Bad Judy somehow to her feet. And into the ring they go. And then she goes after the arm. Rolls out of the ring. Big Bad Judy. Freya Murphy and they were taunting back at each other. And now back in the ring. Big Bad Judy. Oh, into the corner. Big Bad Judy fell down hard. Freya Murphy now has Big Bad Judy locked up. And oh, what a maneuver. Big Bad Judy rolls out of the ring. Freya Murphy in hot pursuit. Big Bad Judy going after Freya. Oh, went for a kick, but right over as Freya was falling anyway. Back into the ring they go. Big Bad Judy is in control. Freya Murphy up. No reversal, Freya. Oh, no reversal, Big Bad Judy. Up goes Freya down with the suplex. Big Bad Judy going to the top rope and dives off and oh, meets her with an elbow to the chest. And again, she goes for the dive and oh, meets the knees. Freya now. Looks like she might have messed up her knee. Oh no, oh DDT. Big Bad Judy is down. Freya Murphy standing tall. Freya Murphy regaining herself. Big Bad Judy trying to make her way to her feet. Oh Freya going for something, but Big Bad Judy reverses. Big Bad Judy as Freya, no Freya reverses. Freya going for something again, and maybe she has it, maybe she does an exploding suplex. Going for the cover. One, no. Kick out Big Bad Judy before the one still. Freya Murphy can't believe it. Getting to her feet now. Freya waiting for Big Bad Judy. Oh, and she has her. What's she looking for here? There it goes, ladies and gentlemen. Wham! Lights out for Big Bad Judy as Freya Murphy might have just put her to sleep in one, two, Three, no, Big Bad Judy kicked out. Freya can't believe it. <coughs> oh, Freya stomping. Oh, she goes for a clothesline, but Big Bad Judy was able to duck. Oh, Big Bad Judy taunted, and now she's going after Freya. Oh, man, dropping her on the back of her head and back. Big Bad Judy taking Freya into the corner. Oh, kick with some momentum. And then now pulling her out by her feet and onto her back again and head. Big Bad Judy knows exactly what to target. Trying to take Freya out of the game. And again, going for the back. Freya. Two or no down the back of Big Bad Judy. Big Bad Judy turns around and DDT. Freya standing tall. Freya has Big Bad Judy in a choke. No, reversal. Oh, she went for a kick, but a little too short. And now Freya, no, Big Bad Judy again. Oh, kick to the gut, reversed by Freya. Rolls to the outside. Big Bad Judy back in the ring as Freya was commanding. Oh, but maybe he, not what she wanted is Big Bad Judy goes to work. Oh, what an elbow by Big Bad Judy. Big Bad Judy now has Freya. No, Freya, headbutt. Freya come back. No, Big Bad Judy reverses again. And look at this. This might be the end of the match here. Oh, and on the back of her head, she falls hard. Big Bad Judy going for the cover. This could be the end of the match. One, two, three. No, Freya able to kick out. Unbelievable matchup, folks. Big Bad Judy now has Freya. Freya, though, punching the gut. Look at that. And then now, again, she has her locked up. Could this be the end of the road?
That move works so good for her with the quickness. Just pulling her out. Going for the cover. Here we go, one, two, three, no. Big Bad Judy kicks out again. Man, breaking the arm. Oh, Freya laying in now on Big Bad Judy. Oh, and she's got her in a submission hold. Oh, she is wrenching in that submission hold tight. Big Bad Judy might tap right here. No, she, she got out of it. She got out of it. Big Bad Judy back on top, Freya. Oh, look at this, no, reversal, Freya. Big Bad Judy going forward, no, oh man. Oh, Big Bad Judy with a sidewalk slam, taking down Freya. Into the rope and, oh, she goes for an elbow, but nobody home. Oh, she missed with another elbow. Freya has her locked up. Oh. Back into that submission hold. Could this be the end of the line for Big Bad Judy? Is she gonna tap? Ladies and gentlemen, everyone watching. No, reversal. Big Bad Judy going in and, oh, look at that kick. Big Bad Judy going to the top rope. This has only worked out for a couple times now. And oh, look at that. Clubbing blow. And then oh, she's going to the top again. Oh, and an elbow to the chest. And this could be it for Freya. One, two, kick out. Freya Murphy. Big Bad Judy can't believe it as Freya is still in this. Picking Freya up. Oh, Freya rolls out. Oh, drop toe hold into the arm breaker. Freya Murphy is back on top once again. What can she do here to put away? Oh, look at that exploding suplex. Oh, and she's waiting. She's lying in wait for Big Bad Judy to get to her feet, and she gets it. The kiss of Freya and bow. Ladies and gentlemen, one, two, three. Freya Murphy is your new FMW Women's Champion. I actually can't believe that she was able to put away Big Bad Judy after the role Big Bad Judy has been on as defending FMW Women's Champion. But you know, putting out defenses like that, it, it has to take a toll on your body defending it every week. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to Freya Murphy. Second match of the night, ladies and gentlemen, fighter Frenzy 2. And Hardcore Heat is making their way to the ring. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 553 pounds, Sugarfoot, Jeremiah Sullivan, and Hardcore Omega Harris Jr. Harlem Heat. This tag team was originally formed with Jeremiah Sullivan and Hardcore Harris' dad, the original Hardcore Harris. This is Hardcore Harris Jr. and he has been an outstanding member of the FW family.
Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's the militia. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 561 pounds, X and Blue B, the militia. Ladies and gentlemen, the militia is here. Fighter frenzy, too. Anything can happen. And it looks like the militia made their way in. Ladies and gentlemen, this match is getting started. Xavier in the ring with Jeremiah Sullivan. And below the belt, Jeremiah Sullivan kicked Xavier. Xavier didn't take to it as he grabbed the head and gave it to him a mighty punch. And now, submission hold. Will Jeremiah Sullivan tap at the beginning of this match? No. Reversal. Oh, but Xavier right back takes the head to the knee. Xavier waiting for Jeremiah Sullivan. Oh, and knocks him clean out of the ring. Jeremiah Sullivan laying on the outside. Xavier is now fighting Hardcore Harris Jr. And he has Jr. Oh, and bounces his head off the apron as now he's going after Jeremiah Sullivan. Oh, Jeremiah Sullivan. Oh, into the steps. They are trying to tag team Xavier over here. Jeremiah Sullivan into the ring. And out of the ring to break the count. And he's in enemy territory now as he's taking on Xavier. Oh, back into the ring, Xavier throws him. Oh, bounces him off the apron. Xavier going high. Oh, Jeremiah Sullivan makes the tap. Xavier misses, and Hardcore Harris Jr. has his chance. Feet to the chest. He goes for a punch, no miss. Xavier, Xavier just took advantage, and look at Xavier. He has him up. Oh, it brings that momentum to a crashing halt. Oh, ground and pound, Xavier. Wow. Xavier is ticked off. What's Xavier doing now? Oh, into a guillotine. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I think he's gonna tap. And he did. Hardcore Harris Jr. tapped. The militia wins. You can hear the crowd booing. They are not happy with the outcome of this match. Xavier just had his way with Hardcore Harris Jr. What's up next? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ill Will. Oh, look at, look at Ill Will. He got his hair cut. Ill Will got a new, some new threads, some chains, new glasses. Weighing in at 295 pounds, I will. 
ill Will is looking sick on his way to the ring. Here comes Coleman. <coughs> Ill will and pin Coleman. That's the whole the reason he's in this match. From Bangor, Maine, weighing in at 250 pounds, Brandon Coleman. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the rules of this match is pro fighting. That was the first time we've had a triple threat pro fighting match. So, you know. Stuff can be edited as we go along, but this match, the first person to knock someone out wins. So if Brandon Coleman knocks out, it will. He is champion. Rafael Owen doesn't even have to be knocked out to lose. Just like a traditional triple threat match. So it's going to be. It could be very bad for Rock Leon here tonight. Here he is, the U.S. champion. Oh, he's got some face paint on. Impact in three, two, one. Rock Leon. Rock Leone is making his way to the ring with the FW United States title. Gotta wonder what Rock Leone is thinking. Making his way into the Steel Cage Pro Fighting Match. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Ill Will, Coleman, Rock Leone for the United States title. The cage has been lowered and the match has started. Coleman's going to let Ill Will and Rock Leone fight it out. Ill Will and Rock Leone have an extended history. Oh, but Ill Will going straight for Coleman. Ill Will looking good here in the forefront of this match. Oh, Coleman taking out Ill Will. And now going for Rock Leone. Oh, and a lariat to Rock Leone. Ill Will is up. Coleman didn't realize it. Oh, and caught from the side. Ill Will going after Coleman. Oh, and now Coleman throwing Ill Will in a chop across chest. No crop chop. 
the chop across his chest as he comes back. Ill Will now, oh, Rock the Own just took out Coleman and then a spear to Ill Will. Rock the Own looking good here. Oh, Ill Will fighting back. Coleman again knows when to back away. Ill Will turn to take on Coleman. Oh, man. Oh, what a kick to the head. Oh, and Coleman went for a lariat. Oh, Ill Will met the boot of Coleman, and now Coleman going after Rock Leone, and he lays him down as well. Oh, Rock Leone taking out Coleman. Oh, but Ill Will helping. And now Ill Will and Rock Leone, Rock Leone. Taken out by Ill Will from a clothesline. Ill Will is being savage here tonight. More savage than I've ever seen him. Oh, and a spear by Rock Leone takes out Coleman. Rock Leone and Ill Will. Oh, and off the roll. Oh, he missed with the kick. I see what he was trying to do there. Very clever on Rock Leone's part. And Rock Leone now has Ill Will and Coleman standing tall as well. Rock Leone, oh, didn't see Coleman coming. Coleman has been lying back and taking spots. Might come out to be helpful. Rock Leone and Ill Will are just trying to tear each other apart. Oh, and another spear to Ill Will. And a kick to the chest. Now picking up Ill Will, Rock Leone. Oh, and what's this? Oh, no, Ill reverse Ill Will. Oh, and they're both now picking on Rock Leone. Oh, but Ill Will stopped it as he turned on Coleman and now going after Rock Leone, who was in the corner taunting. Neck breaker by Ill Will. Oh, Ill Will going for a submission hold. Coleman, oh, breaks it up by punching Rock Leone right in the face. Oh, and then Ill Will trying to take out Coleman, but Coleman breaks the body of Ill Will and now picking Ill Will up again. Oh, and a headbutt. Stomp. Oh, Coleman now. Submission. Hold. Rock Leone don't notice. He's too busy taunting. Getting fired up. Oh, and he breaks it up there. Oh, and look at Rock Leone now. Pile driver to Coleman. And he looks at the ref, wondering why. Yeah, look how pissed off Rock Leone is. Lariat. Lariat. Ducks. Oh, and what a backbreaker. And now Rock Leone going after Ill Will. Oh! Rock Leone throws Ill Will into the ropes and then he goes to go back. Oh, Ill Will caught himself at the end of the ropes. And then Coleman takes advantage. Oh, and then blocked by Rock Leone. Oh, Ill Will broke whatever momentum Rock Leone is about to finish off with. And Rock Leone now dropping elbows on Ill Will. As Ill Will up, oh, throws Rock Leone. Oh, headbutt to Rock Leone. Ill Will is giving it to Rock Leone in the corner. And Coleman again, biding his time in the back. Oh, look at this. Coleman. Is he going for it? Dead on arrival. And not enough. Somehow. I mean, I don't know how the referee can really tell if someone's knocked out from as far away as he is. Oh, submission hold. No, reversal by Rock Leone. And now Ill Will staring down Coleman. Oh, but Rock Leone went after Ill Will, and Ill Will now, oh, caught up by Coleman. Coleman plants Rock Leone. And Coleman and Ill Will are now standing tall above Rock Leone. Oh, and Ill Will turned on Coleman quick. And now has the head wrenched of Coleman. Rock Leone's finally made its way back to his feet. And now he's working his way to the corner. Oh, Ill Will turned right around. Oh, what? Oh, and into a submission hold. What a power bomb by Ill Will showing strength here so late in this match. Rock Leone has definitely been taking a beating, folks, by Bo Coleman takes advantage. 
Ill will and Rockwell definitely need a one-on-one -on -one to solve all their issues. Oh, what a knee by Coleman. Into the cage. Kick to the gut, Rockwell Rockwell now sizing up Coleman with another pile driver. And looks at the ref again to see if it was enough, but it wasn't. Ill will. Is in a bad spot. Rock Williams fired up. Oh, Ill Will somehow gets a punch in in a suplex. And Coleman. Oh, Ill Will noticed him. He went to turn to him. Coleman got the first grab. Oh, knocks Coleman's hand. Ill Will fighting back. Chops. Oh, caught by Coleman. Oh, and a spear by Rock Leone. Coleman backing up now. Rock Leone coming at him. Sends him into the corner. Coleman. Oh, look at this. Oh, he's got Rock Leone. Oh, and now he's choking him out in the corner. Oh, submission broken up by, what a move by Ill Will. Separating the two. Oh, Rock Leone, a little bit of straw. Oh, knocked right back down by Ill Will. Coleman to his feet. Rock Leone knocks Ill Will down. Ill Will takes out Coleman, or Rock Leone, sorry. And now Coleman and Ill Will. Ill Will on Coleman, oh, and into a gut buster. Coleman is now sizing up Ill Will. Could this be the end for Ill Will? Rock Leone sitting back, and he's looking for it. Dead on arrival. Coleman still going after Rock, or Ill Will. Rock Leone standing behind him, ready to break up the submission hole. Rock Leone, oh, reversal, Coleman. Coleman as ill will, or Rock Leone. Oh, stomp to the head. Submission hold. Ill will trying to make his way to his feet. Oh, and Rock Leone taps, folks. Coleman, Coleman is walking away with the U.S. Championship. Coleman is walking away with the United States title, but for some reason, I got a feeling that this is not over, folks. title again congratulations as we move on to the fourth match of tonight ladies and gentlemen we know whose music that is the man that returned from Brad, for Brad Miller and took on Stephen Murphy for his number one contendership. It is Axel Cage. down to the ring folks. Axel Cage is one of the most dominant men in FMW. He had one of the longest winning streaks ever in FMW history. Quite surprised actually he aligned himself with the likes of Brad Miller. But business is business as we move forward. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent is a returning superstar. The 
was on medical leave, and he has returned to FMW on the grandest stage of them all, Fighter Frenzy 2. Crowd extra excited to hear Christian Gunn's music. And there he is. Oh, what's what's going on, folks? Axel Cage is not waiting. Christian Gunn's return is being ruined by Axel Cage. Oh, and what a knee from Axel Cage taking out Christian Gunn. Christian Gunn now being brought to his feet. Oh, Christian Gunn with a shoulder check to Axel Cage. He walks right around him and heads for the ring. Axel Cage in hot pursuit. Christian Gunn heading for the ring. And into the ring he goes. Axel Cage right behind him, and here we go. Christian Gunn is fighting Axel Cage. Oh, and look at the fight Christian Gunn is bringing. Oh, and caught in midair. Punch to the gut. Axel Cage now has control. Oh, no. Reversal again. Christian Gunn. Oh, reversal again. Axel Cage in a knee. Takes out. Oh, and he uses the momentum to roll out. Smart move on Christian Gunn's part. Back in the ring playing cat and mouse with Axel Cage. Oh, Christian Gunn coming in for a fight, but Axel Cage punches him so hard, he falls over the barricade. Oh, and knocks Axel Cage back over the barricade. Smart move by Christian Gunn. Oh, and he runs into Axel Cage, but not enough to knock him down. Christian Gunn turns and taunts to the crowd. See how excited the crowd is. Axel Cage, I guess... We don't even know what happened there. Axel Cage fell to a knee, folks. Oh, headbutt by Christian Gunn. Oh! Knees to the chest of Axel Cage. Oh, Axel Cage to his feet. Oh, but reversal, Christian Gunn. Again, Christian Gunn kicked to the nuts. Wow. And now Christian Gunn still in control. Oh, look at this. Point blank. Reversal. Or sorry, rope break. Breaks that up. And now Christian Gunn looks like he's trying something else. Oh, he might be looking for gunshot here. And there it is. Gunshot. Bang. Going for the cover. One, two, kick out Axel Cage. Christian Gunn not stopping there, going to the top rope. And he jumps, oh, nobody home. Axel Cage now has Christian Gunn. Oh, running power slam. Plants Christian Gunn, and look at Axel Cage getting fired up here. Oh, and now fighting Christian Gunn. He has Christian Gunn back to his feet. Lariat. Another Lariat. Oh, he went for a kick, but reverse. Oh, and Axel Cage fired up, and he knocks the feet off of Christian Gunn. Brought Christian Gunn to his feet. Is he looking for it? Oh, and yeah, he is. Stunner. One. Two, no. Christian Gunn kicked out. Axel Cage cannot believe it. Wrenching Christian Gunn's neck. Slamming his head into the mat. Oh, he's, oh he was going to introduce him to the Axel Sphere, but... Christian Gunn fighting back hard now. Christian Gunn bringing Axel Cage to his feet. 
Oh, he's trying to pick him up, but no go. Axel Cage. Oh, and into the corner, he rams him hard. Oh, pulls the legs, he lands on the back and head. Bringing him to his feet. Axel Cage now, he looks like he's setting up for it. Here it is, folks, Axel Sphere. Good night, Christian Gunn. One, two, three, no. Last minute, Christian Gunn somehow kicks out. Now Axel Cage rolling him around. Some wrestling. Breaking the arm. Goes for the stop. Oh, Axel Cage fired up. Turns around. Christian Gunn's in the ring. Christian Gunn just punched him in the head. Oh, reversal. Axel Cage knocks him to the ground. Axel Cage now sharpshooter. Set up. Reversal. Christian Gunn powers out. Oh, and Axel Cage has Christian Gunn. What's he looking for here? Powers him off the ropes. Oh, Axel Cage. Oh, oh man. Goes for the cover. One, two, three, no. Kick out Christian Gunn again. Oh no. Is he gonna introduce him to the Axel Sphere one more time? Looks like he's gonna, he's got him up. Bow! And he just inducted Christian Gunn to the Axel Sphere in two, three. Axel Cage just walks away victorious. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're enjoying Fighter Frenzy 2. We are. Four matches in now, going into the fifth. And we still got a packed card for you. Don't go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Bob Axel is taking on Thomas Jones. Making his way to the ring from Charleston. Oh, Thomas Jones not ready to wait. Making his way down the ramp. And oh, attacks Bob Axel from behind. Goes to kick him in the back. Bob Axel gets out of the way. And now he has Thomas Jones is sending him for a ride down the ramp. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on to the fifth match of tonight. Bob Axel giving it to Thomas Jones. Oh, Thomas Jones reversal gets in the ring. Taunts to the crowd. Bob Axel in hot pursuit. Oh, but met by Thomas Jones, the bell has rung to officiate this match. Bouncing Thomas Jones' head off the turnbuckle.
Oh, man, what a spine buster from Bob Axel. Bob Axel now is Thomas Jones. Oh, Thomas Jones fighting back. Oh, to the face. Oh, Bob Axel sends Thomas Jones into the rope. Thomas Jones coming back. Oh, he goes under. Under again. Bob Axel waiting. Oh, Thomas Jones reversal. And kick to the midsection. And now elbow to the face. Thomas Jones. Oh, oh reversal by Bob Axel was now giving it to Thomas Jones. Going for the cover. 1 0 oh, kick out. Oh, punch right to the side of the face. Elbow to the midsection. Oh, what's this? He has the head. DDT. Tom Jones go for the cover. One, no kick out. Oh, what's this? Oh, knee to the midsection. Thomas Jones trying to wear down Bob Axel. And now sweeping the leg. Bam. Thomas Jones going to that top rope. Splash and going for the cover. One, two, no, he just, he gave it up. Thomas Jones wants to inflict more injury to Bob Axel, which might not have been the smartest plan. He should have maybe took the victory and ran with it. Bob Axel into the corner. Thomas Jones, oh, squashes him. Into the corner again, and Thomas Jones again with the lariat. Going for the cover. One. Oh, and Bob Axel kicks out immediately. Thomas Jones can't believe it. Thomas Jones going for that top rope. Bob Axel to his feet. Thomas Jones jumps off and oh, caught by Bob Axel. And playing it down to the mat. Bob Axel now has Thomas Jones in a submission hold. Will Thomas Jones tap? Will Thomas Jones tap? Oh, Thomas Jones able to break out. Smart rollover by Thomas Jones. Able to break free of that submission by kneeing Bob Axel in the face of Thomas Jones now as Bob Axel gets the rope. Again, he's doing the knee routine. Trying to wear down Bob Axel as quickly as he can. Thomas Jones now waiting for Bob to get up. This could be the end of the... Oh, and look at that clothesline from hell. Clothesline from hell completely leveling Bob Axel. And this could be the end of the match right here. Referee looking for a voice to count. One, two, kick out. Bob Axel somehow got the shoulder up. Thomas Jones... Picking up Bob Axel, you can see the gleam in his eyes. He is not happy about this one. Oh, whoa, Bob Axel came back to life. Bob Axel, oh, look at that shoulder in the corner. And now Bob turning Thomas Jones around. Oh, and from behind, what's, oh, he's gonna send him into the turnbuckle. Oh, man. Send him straight into the post. Oh, and he pulls him out. Bob Axel somehow turning this around. And Spine Buster going for the cover. One, two, three. Bob Axel walks away victorious. Bob Axel walking away victorious. Thomas Jones put on one hell of a fight, but not enough to put away Bob Axel. American Alpha stands tall tonight. Fighter Frenzy 2, ladies and gentlemen.
Ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the sixth match of tonight. Making his way to the ring from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Maverick, JMR. JMR rocking all new attire. Coming out here in all gold, ladies and gentlemen. JMR looking focused as ever coming into this. And his opponent. Grave digger, grave digger, send me on my and way. his opponent from St. Louis, Release Missouri, weighing side. in at 330 pounds, grave. smooth Jeremy Steele. Big Smooth making his way down the ramp towards JMR, his opponent, for this year's Fighter Frenzy. That money wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, nothing is bigger than Fighter Frenzy. Nothing is bigger than FMW. I can't wait to see what these two guys do, but I also can't wait to see the rest of the card tonight. Steve Murphy gets to go one on one with Jay Fatal, and that is going to be a match that you should not miss. But before that, Black Dahlia takes on Krugman. This match is on the way as JMR and Big Smooth are going. Oh, clothesline that wasn't able to take down the big man. The big man. Oh, scoop slam taking down JMR. JMR. Oh, JMR coming out quick from that. He knows that he can't let, oh, and a clothesline actually takes down the big man. And JMR in hot pursuit, but that's exactly what, oh, but he knew it. He, oh, and then chops to the chest. Big Smooth knows he needs to get away, and look at that, sends JMR into the steel steps. Oh, JMR fighting with everything he has to put down the big man. Oh, Big Smooth fighting back. JMR thought he had him. And oh, back into that corner with the steel steps and the apron. And looks like Big Smooth's going in to break the count. And back out he goes. Oh, and now going back after JMR. Oh, and back into them steel steps. The crowd is going crazy. Over the railing. Big Smooth now, breaking down the table. Oh, JMR just clobbered Big Smooth as he turned around. And now Big Smooth's in a bad way. Oh, back into the ring they go, folks. I want everyone to know now that we have announced tables waiting backstage. So as soon as one breaks, I will have a team running the new one out. Just so we can have as much chaos and mayhem here tonight at Fighter Frenzy for all you guys watching at home. JMR, oh, over the top rope. Stellhorn is not done with JMR, the brother of Triple C, the owner of FMW. Jeremy Stellhorn has JMR now by that table and into the table they go. Oh, Stellhorn just bouncing the head off the table. Oh, and now JMR is in control. Looks like Stellhorn had evil plans, but back in the ring we go. 
Oh, and that standing jumping elbow JMR has patented over his career. Oh, and again, from behind, Stellhorn tried to get the advantage. Oh, what's JMR doing here? Oh, fighting back is Stellhorn. Stellhorn knows exactly what JMR has planned. And now, JMR has Stellhorn on the announce table, folks. Could, oh no! JMR's gonna put Stellhorn through the announce table! And this is exactly why we keep extra pieces and look at that! JMR is now just beating Stellhorn outside the ring, back into the ring they go. JMR thinks that might have been enough to put away Jeremy Stellhorn in one, two, three, no. Stellhorn gets the shoulder up right before the three. JMR is telling the referee to count faster. What is the Maverick gonna do here, folks? Oh, and he drops that massive elbow. Oh, and attacking the arm. And now he has the head. Oh, bounces the elbow right off the forehead of Jeremy Stalehorn. And now going after them injured legs. Everyone knows Stalehorn has bad knees. Oh, he took time off to have surgery on both of them. Oh, Stellhorn's up. And JMR. Bow, look at that DDT. Unbelievable. JMR pulling all the stops here at Fighter Frenzy. He's going for the cover. One, two, Three, no, again, Stellhorn gets the shoulder up. JMR is even getting more furious with the ref, floating right in his face. Tells him to piss off as he goes for the cover again. One, two, three, no. Stellhorn again gets the kick out. JMR in disbelief as now he's stomping away at Stellhorn. Flipping Stellhorn over as the other arm wrenched back and into a submission hold. Has JMR put enough pressure on Jeremy Stellhorn? Big Smooth to get him to tap right here. Big Smooth might tap right here, folks. Big Smooth's gonna tap out. Big Smooth's gonna tap out. Big Smooth is gonna tap out right here. No, look at that. Big Smooth just barely, oh, the damage has been done. Big Smooth holding that left arm. Oh, Big Smooth trying. He just threw JMR back with authority. Oh, and look at this. We might see a big, smooth pal driver, and it's going to connect. Big smooth going for the cover. One, two, kick out JMR. JMR being hoisted to his feet by Bill in a right hand. Oh, and a kick. Oh, another right hand, but blocked by JMR. JMR's fighting back. Scoop slam, sit down, scoop slam. JMR is fighting back, guys. JMR is giving it his all here tonight. Fighter Frenzy 2. The biggest event of the year. And JMR is not holding back. Stellhorn is walking towards JMR. JMR is going to do it. Bow with a backstabber. Big Smooth still trying to get back to his feet. Oh, and J Jeremy Stalehorn gets an elbow in. And JMR is now taking a beating from Jeremy Stalehorn. Thrown into the ropes. Oh, and he's calling for it, the choke slam. This could be the end, folks. Oh, but 
JMR came back to life right as he was taunting and bow. One, two, three, no. The JMR bomb did not pull it off. Are we gonna see a Owen oh, exploding T-bone suplex? And JMR knows what he has to do. He's gonna have to pull out a Maverick Bomb from the top rope. Bow, Maverick Bomb is hit, folks. The Maverick Bomb has been hit. JMR is to his feet. He's going for the cover. And this could be the three count we've been looking for. One, two, three. JMR just put away Jeremy Stalehorn. Ladies and gentlemen, JMR has done what everyone said he couldn't do. And that was in Jeremy Stalehorn, big smooth for the three count here at Fighter Frenzy, the grandest stage of them all. Congratulations to JMR as we prepare for a tag team title match like we have never seen before. Six foot six, 350 pounds. It's Jimmy Rowers. I've got enough weight to carry on my own. But for the past few months, I've been carrying Colt Clark, Colt Chris Clark as well. I'm getting tired of carrying you, Triple C. Every time I turn around, you fail, you lose, and get an excuse for why. I'm done, son. I am done backing you up and getting shit thrown in my face for it. Triple C, you gonna see what happens when you let me down. It's not a pretty thing. I'll be seeing you soon, son. Jimmy Rowison is upset with Triple C. What does that mean? What does that mean for this tag team title match? Triple C's coming out by himself. And from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 316 pounds, one half of the champions, the total package, C, C, C. As I'm being told, this is for the tag team titles. Rowerson gave his title to Brad Miller. And Triple C's coming out with his. The titles will be on the line in this handicap match. I bet these guys are uber excited right now, making their way to the ring. And at a combined weight of 502 pounds, 
the show. Jay, Matt, King, the Dominator, and the Hooligan. Let's go, 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 let's go. The Hooligans have been on quite a winning streak, hitting the tag team champions. Well, Triple C. Multiple times, this this has to be a night where they have already declared themselves as tag team champions. Triple C and both competitors are in there. This is Tornado. Oh, yeah, this is the first blood elimination originally. So all they have to do is break open Triple C to win. And ladies and gentlemen, two on one. I can't believe Jimmy Rowerson came on in a car. He's, he's not even here tonight, folks, I don't think. Triple C is trying everything to fight back here, but he's being taken out from all sides. And KD, oh, giving it to Triple C. Triple C is fighting back with everything he's got, but at every move, he's getting attacked from the other side. Looks like neither of them know exactly who deserves to get their hands on Triple C more. Oh, and a power bomb. J Max going right to work with some heavy hitting moves. Oh, KD before J Max can knock him down. Pull Triple C back through the middle rope and is. Oh, there it is. Oh, backstabber. Oh, Triple C to his feet. He got a punch in on J Max, but not before KD lights out. Both members of the Hooligans just wanting to tear apart Triple C. KD choking the life out of Triple C. Attacking Triple C from behind. J Max now. Triple C punched to the face. Oh man, Triple C is just getting dogged on here. Two on one. Ladies and gentlemen, oh, he just punched J-Max on accident. This is what happens when you get close and personal and try to both go, you know, you need to come up with a game plan. One guy stands back till the other one gets hurt. And KD giving it to Triple C, these guys no stranger to each other. Triple C running away now, trying to get some separation but the Hooligans staying together. You know, this might actually be, oh, Triple C out the back, just trying to get himself a moment. Triple C is running away from the Hooligans. Oh, Triple C's got a weapon. Oh, Triple C took out KD, but J-Max reverses the steel chair. Sends Triple C back in the ring. Triple C to get to his feet, and J Max is wasting little time just giving it to Triple C. Triple C to his feet. Oh, KD missed because of J Max, 
Oh, and he takes the knee out. Looking for the knee perfection, but J-Max again. These two are not timing up very well, folks. Starting to get a little irritated with each other, as you can see. But they both want to take out Triple C. Triple C to his feet. Oh, he gets J-Max up and over. Oh, J-Max right back to his feet. And KD with the suplex. J-Max now has Triple C up. Oh, and they're going to tag team him. Oh, man. You know, these guys might have just figured out their momentum. Oh, and KD attacking Triple C. J-Max from the top. Oh, and he hits KD, but he lands on Triple C as well. And then KD right back to Triple C. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hooligans are just having their way with Triple C. Oh, and he went for a spear, but a knee to the face. And KD, look at this, the neck breaker. Oh, man. And now J-Max looking for something, but KD going to spoil the fun. Oh, and KD, bam, DDT, and now J-Max. J-Max getting fed up. Oh, KD, oh, KD just taking the rain from J-Max. And now J-Max going after the leg of Triple C. Oh, going after the arm. Keeping Triple C up. Oh, reversal, Triple C, into the rope. Spear to J-Max. Ladies and gentlemen, Triple C might have just found his moment. And Triple C going after KD. Oh, KD reverses, takes the knee out, into the ropes. And there it is, folks. The new tag team champions. J-Max and KD are going to have to work better on their Tornado Tag Team one-on-one, -on -one, or sorry, two-on-one. -on -one. But nonetheless, the Hooligans have pulled it off. They have finally obtained the Tag Team Championship. Triple C is now getting backstage, folks. Congratulations to KD, J-Max, the Hooligans. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's it, Rowerson! Rowerson is yelling at Triple C. Oh, Triple C just sucker punched. Rowerson in again. Oh, and back with a punch is Rowerson. Oh, Triple C is fighting Rowerson. Rowerson has Triple C. Oh, he's looking for a nice suplex on the concrete. Brain Buster suplex. Absolutely devastating. Rowerson is giving it at Triple C. On the concrete. Oh. Oh, Triple C able to catch himself. Oh, but he wasn't able to stop this. Rowerson with a power bomb on the concrete. And now he has Triple C up again. What is he looking for? Oh, smacks him off one of our storage containers. Carries around our equipment. Oh, Triple C fighting back, guys. Oh, he sends Rowerson into one of the containers. Oh, Rowerson fighting back. Sends Triple C into a container. Oh, and what's this? DDT on the concrete. Ooh. 
Rowerson being devastating. Ladies and gentlemen, I will keep an update with you guys of what's happening with Triple C. Ford Bastard ADM with a fresh look coming in to a debuting title match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be the United Kingdom Championship, the UK Championship here in FMW. And ADM is going to take on a surprise superstar. Let's get ready to see who that is. Ladies and gentlemen, he's not going to miss Fighter Frenzy. Blade is here. Fighter Frenzy 2, FMW. We're in Newcastle, England, folks. Anything can happen. Unbelievable. Boy, it is here in FMW. W Arena. Especially here at the grandest stage of them all. Fighter Frenzy. Is guys the new UK championship? Being held high. ADM is ready. Blade is ready. This match is about to take off. Blade going in on ADM hard. Oh, Blade sidestep. Send, or sorry, ADM sidesteps and Blade into the turnbuckle. And now ADM holding on for that padded trio suplexes that he loves to do. Oh, Blade with the reversal. Blade going to the top rope, which is very unlike him. ADM doesn't even notice. ADM working his way to his feet. Oh, Blade takes him down with an elbow, flying through the sky. Oh, ADM fighting back since Blade to the outside. ADM going after Blade. Oh, and over. Like I said, guys, we have a bunch of maintenance guys with announce tables and pieces. Right? Oh, and look at that elbow from Blade. Blade rolls back to the outside. Blade getting a weapon. These guys made a name for themselves in the extreme division. And Blade swinging wildly with that steel chair caught by ADM, though. Able to get it out of his hands. ADM looking for a suplex, but no reverse by Blade. Blade goes to chop the knee, but stepped out of the way. ADM. ADM. Oh, looking to pick up that steel chair. Oh, he runs into Blade. Blade able to knock the steel chair out of ADM's hands. Oh, and now he picks up the steel. Oh, and he clocks Blade. Or ADM. 
Blade now going after ADM. Oh, he hands in the steel chair. Oh, ho, 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 ho. and he kicks it right into his face. Now going for the cover. One, no kick out, ADM. Oh, and Blade seen him coming and he stuck his thumb in the eye. Smart move by Blade, he was now in control. Oh, look at this. Ow, Bulldog by Blade. Blade rolls back to the outside. Blade has a table. What is Blade looking to do with this table, folks? Oh, ADM wrestling the table out of Blade's hands. Oh, and he clobbers Blade with it. Throws it to the outside. ADM back in the ring now, stomping away at Blade. Has Blade up. Oh, he went for something with the arm. Blade reversed, and oh, drop kick. Blade back to the outside now. What's Blade doing here? He's looking back under the ring for something. I you know what, guys? It looked like Blade didn't grab something, but I think I think he did. Blade picking up that table. Oh, and Blade talking shit to ADM on the side. Oh, what's this? ADM putting Blade through the table! Blade pointed in the face of ADM, and ADM answered with a rock bottom through the table. Oh, and now ADM with the table as he knocks down Blade with it. ADM has Blade. Bow. And now going after Blade again. Oh man, he holds on. He's looking for that trio suplex again. Oh man. Blade is taking a beating from ADM. Oh, off the apron. And again, oh man, ADM is just giving it to Blade who has been lifeless since being put through the table. ADM sizing up. Blade trying to make his way back to his feet. I don't even think Blade knows where he's at right now. ADM has just been manhandling him. And oh, on the outside. Played in a bad way, folks. Oh, ADM has played up. Oh, backpack stunner. Oh, kick to the gut. Sent back in the ring now. Played going after ADM. Blade has got that steel chair. Blade has ADM. Oh, what a right hand. Oh, and another has him leaned up against the ropes and throwing him into that steel chair. Blade happy with himself. ADM somehow working his way back to his feet. ADM now in the ring. Oh, Blade met him. Oh, he went for a kick, but ADM pulled the top rope and sent Blade over it. ADM to the top rope. What's ADM got in mind here? Oh, and he connects two feet across the back of the head of AD Blade. ADM hit hard, though, and you can see it. It took a toll on him as he makes his way to his feet and stomps on the arm of Blade. Now has Blade up, an elbow. Forearm. Oh, and a clothesline from hell. 
ADM now sizing up Blade. He's looking for it. Pile driver outside. ADM is yelling at Blade to get up, but I think it was more of a joke trying to make fun of the veteran Blade. We have never seen this side of ADM before, folks. He is bound and determined to walk out of here with the UK title. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Oh, he just sent Blade into the post. ADM now in full control. Oh, and again off the post. Oh, man. Blade has to be seeing stars, folks. Blade in the ring. ADM in the ring. Oh, Blade, he thumbed the eye. Oh, and there's that big boot out of the ring. Oh, what's Blade doing? Oh, Blade's going back to that table. Blade is setting up that table. ADM has Blade. Oh, sends him over to the corner. Oh, and Blade sends ADM for a ride. Blade leading ADM back into the ring. ADM and oh, what's oh, Blade's leading him to that table. ADM. Oh, Blade or ADM knew exactly what Blade's plan was there, as he just countered. Oh, Blade now fighting. Blade going to the outside. He he thinks he has it. He thinks he's gonna send ADM. Oh no. I think ADM, ADM with another bookend through the table. That's two times Blade has went through a table on the outside of the ring. Man. ADM being relentless now. Dragging Blade around. Oh, and here it is, electric chair. Oh, Blade fight back. Sends ADM into the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, Blade is bleeding hard. Blood is everywhere. Oh, they knocked down the ref. ADM came out of the corner with a sling blade. Blade rolls to the outside. ADM in hot pursuit. ADM dragging Blade to the corner. Off the corner of the ring. Oh man, the railing here at ringside. ADM back to the inside. Blade is up to his feet miraculously. I. I cannot believe this. Oh, and Blade, first one to deliver a punch inside. Looks like he's looking for it. Ladies and gentlemen, jackknife. Bow. And that could be the end of the line for ADM right here. Are we going to see a new UK champion in Blade? If he can score the three count right now. Oh, Blade just staring down ADM. He doesn't even know what to do. Blade holding his head. Going for the cover, he just realized. One, two, kick out. ADM, Blade took too long recuperating. Oh, Blade stomping on ADM, pulling ADM to his feet. Sends ADM to the corner. Oh, Blade looking for it. Car crash elbow, bang! 
One, two, and again, ADM able to get the shoulder up. Blade cannot believe it. Blade is fighting with everything he's got. Somehow ADM is working his way to his feet. ADM just blocked a right hand. Oh, and what a right hand from ADM. ADM going for the cover. One, two, kick out from Blade. ADM to his feet, waiting for Blade to get up. Blade's up. ADM, oh! Theo's mark, folks. One, two, three! ADM is your new UK champion! And first ever UK champion. Unbelievable match, guys. ADM and Blade always deliver. Here is your winner and new European champion, the hardcore icon. Congratulations to ADM as we go on to the next match in tonight. The following contest is a no holds barred match and is for the Extreme Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring you up to speed. This match is for the extreme title. If Crunkman wins, Black Dahlia leaves FMW. If Black Dahlia wins, he leaves with the extreme title. Crunkman putting everything on the line. Guys, I wouldn't be upset if Black Dahlia has to leave here tonight. The eerie feeling when Black Dahlia enters the arena is it, it goes all the way from the front to the back. And I mean, I feel bad for the fans right there who get that close to that man, that monster. Black Dahlia is here, now we wait for the extreme champion. And Grunk Man is excited to be here at Fighter Frenzy 2, leaving his mark on the greatest stage of them all. Brokeman has said all over social media that no one has taken that extreme belt from him. No one is stopping the reign of Krugman. And you know what? I believe him. He has put away Black Dahlia before, and gosh darn it, he can do it again tonight. 
He's not just fighting for his title. He's just not fighting for every FMW superstar in the back. He's also fighting for one of his best friends, Tyler Ferguson. Him, Tyler Ferguson was under a spell by Black Dahlia for a long time as a member of the Void, and he seemed to have come out of it the last time we seen him. But then Black Dahlia attacked him on the FMW show after Crucified. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the question is, is Tyler okay? Tyler was... Uh, injured Introducing by Black Dahlia. Is Tyler edge, ever going to return? Reality, is he going to be 100%? Weighing in at 269 pounds, Black Nightmare. Black Dahlia knows he's, he never has Introducing any worry in his champion, eyes. From Alabama, weighing in at 208 pounds, he is the Extreme Champion. Aaron. Can't believe we've already made it to the ninth, or sorry, eighth, yeah, ninth match of tonight, folks, in a ten-match pay-per-view. And the bell has rang, and here comes Black Dahlia. Oh, Crunkman scouted it. Oh, Black Dahlia ducked under Crunkman. Oh, and he met him with a kick to the face. The outcome of this match is the match everyone is waiting for, folks. Will Crunkman be able to put away Black Dahlia? Oh, and Black Dahlia automatically going for them steps, and Crunkman from behind. Oh, Black Dahlia fighting back. Sends Crunkman, oh, into that. Oh, and he falls backwards and hits his head across the steel steps, which gives, oh, and right to the head. Black Dahlia, oh, into the midsection. Black Dahlia again, oh, and into the midsection again. Right across the hips and waist. That had to hurt, folks, as Black Dahlia is not stopping at anything here. He is giving it to Crunkman, and Crunkman coming back across the railing. Oh, and Black Daddy tried to knock him back across it again, but to no avail. He's now sending Crunkman for a ride. Black Dahlia is going back there. He's going into the crowd. Crowd yelling boo all around him. And here comes Crunkman. Everyone happy to see Crow. Black Dahlia was waiting with a steel chair. Sends Black Dahlia into that WWE storage container. Oh, Black Dahlia. Oh, with a steel chair across the back of Crunk Man. And now Black Dahlia walking away confidently. Oh, Black Dahlia back across. Oh, no, back across. What's Black Dahlia? Oh, Black Dahlia going to tear apart the announce table. Here comes Crunk Man. Crunk Man fighting. With everything he has, Crunk Man is fighting. Crunk Man knows how much tonight would mean to everybody in the locker room. And not only everyone in the locker room, but himself. If he loses, he loses his extreme title. Along with... Oh, Black Dahlia has him up on the table. Oh, Black Dahlia is going to put Crunk Man through the announce table. Oh, and back to them steel steps, Black Dahlia. Boy, and he grabs a bat, oh, across the back of Crunk Man, who was trying to get back to his feet. Oh, and a sledgehammer 
Black Dahlia inside the ring. Oh, and he, I guess it wasn't what he wanted. Now he's outside of the ring again, and now he has a steel chair. And in the ring, Black Dahlia goes. Oh, and across the head of Crump. Into the ropes it goes. Black Dahlia seems to have taken control. Oh, there's Crump fighting back. Oh, super kick. Crump man out of nowhere. Is he going to turn the page of Black Dahlia? Oh, Black Dahlia reversal. Oh, no, not on that. Oh, oh man. Caught the handle of the sledgehammer to his face. Unbelievable, Black Dahlia. Such ring awareness. Going for the cover. One, two, kick out, Crunk Man. Crunk Man staying in this, folks. Kick to the midsection. Black Dahlia. Oh, and oh, Crunk fight back. Crunk fight back. Kick to the midsection. DDT. Crunk Man proud of himself here. Black Dahlia made his way to his feet. Oh, Crunk with an elbow. Crunk with another elbow. Oh, Crunk with a kick to the head. Pele kick. Nice move by Crunk Man staying. Oh, and a super kick. Go for the cover. One, two, no. Black Dahlia kicked out. Crunkman taking out the arm. Oh, Black Daddy now kicking him. Oh, Crunkman waiting for Black Daddy to get to his feet. Oh, Black Daddy caught it. Oh, and a kick to the face. Oh, what's Black Daddy doing here? Oh, and into that steel chair. He has Crunkman up again. Send him out of the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, Crunkman is laying lifeless out of the ring. I don't know what's going to happen here. Man. Crunk. Oh, what? The lights just went out, guys. Lights have just went out. Oh, we're, the lights are back on. It's, it's, it's Tyler Ferguson. The fallen angel, Tyler Ferguson, is here. Tyler Ferguson is here, folks, and he is giving it to Black Dahlia. Tyler Ferguson is in the arena. He has returned from injury, it looks like. New attire. The Fallen Angel has returned to FMW. Oh, look at him taunt the crowd. Tyler Ferguson is getting hyped. Tyler Ferguson keeps taunting that 21-gun salute. Oh man, he's giving it to Black Dahlia, saving his friend. Oh, look at this, Tyler, the fallen angel, is setting up. 21 gun salute! Tyler staring down at Black Dahlia. Black Dahlia working his way to his feet. Oh, he went for a drop kick. Black Dahlia reverse. Oh, Tyler reverse and knocks Black Dahlia out of the ring. Tyler going out in pursuit of Black Dahlia. Oh, into the, off the apron. Oh, back into the ring. Oh, it's Tyler doing. Oh, Tyler, I think he was gonna leave it at that, but oh. Crunkman didn't make it back in the ring yet. Black Dahlia looks like he thinks he's got it, but Tyler Ferguson was lying in wait. Knee to the face. Oh, Alabama slam. Oh, man. And what's Tyler Ferguson got in mind here? 
Oh, he went for an axe handle. Black Dahlia reversed. Tyler reversed. Has Black Dahlia. Oh, brain buster. Oh, Black Dahlia reversal. Oh, Tyler in a bad way. Now going after the face of Tyler Ferguson. Ladies and gentlemen, this is extreme rules. You know, it does not matter. Tyler Ferguson could stay in here for the rest of the match. Crunkman is still laying lifeless on the other side of the ring. And look at that. Oh, he's looking for another one. 21 gun salute again. I think he's looking for some weathered leather. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Crookman is back in the ring. Tyler Ferguson is walking up the ramp. He took off during the replay, and Crookman is going back to work on Black Dahlia, but Black Dahlia is still somehow fighting back. He's very slow. Oh, he was able to connect there with the flying elbow. And now picking up Crunkman. Sending Crunkman into the corner. Oh, Black Dahlia. Oh, he met Crunk. And smashed him with an elbow. And now he's got that steel chair. Er, yeah, steel chairs in hand. Or sorry, steel steps. Apologize. Steel steps going across. Oh, no. Crunkman to his feet. Oh, he ran into it to knock it out of his hands. Smart move by Crunkman, who is fighting back on a whim. I don't even know how Black Dahlia is even still. Oh, and a super kick. Out of nowhere. Crunkman is proud of himself there. And now picking up them steel steps. Oh, across the back of the head. He clocks Black Dahlia. Now sending the steel steps out of the ring. Smart move by Crunkman. Crunkman now grabbing a steel chair. Crunkman back in the ring with a steel chair. Oh, he throws down the steel chair. He don't need that steel chair, he says. And now he's waiting. He's lying in wait. Black Dahlia is making his way back to his feet. And oh, caught by Black Dahlia who says, no, not yet. Not yet, you are not putting me down yet. You nor Tyler Ferguson are taking me out yet. Oh, and a punch to the throw he's going after. Crunkman who's just not falling. Crunkman rolls to the side. Oh, and a drop kick by Crunk. The crowd is going absolutely ballistic as Crunkman is trying to break the arm of Black Dahlia. Crunkman might have him here. Oh, Black Dahlia. Rolling to the side, gets out of it. Now they're both to their feet, dodge. Super kick again, and he hits his back of his head on that steel chair. One, two, three, no, Black Dahlia kicks out. Crookman back to his feet again. Oh, going after the leg. Oh, he's, he's looking, can he actually connect? Is Crookman going to turn the page? And it looks like he's going to turn the page on Black Dahlia. Going for the cover. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, Crookman has pinned Black Dahlia. Crookman has pinned Black Dahlia. That means Black Dahlia is leaving FW. Crookman is still your extreme champion. Unbelievable, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, what a match we witnessed. Tyler Ferguson even came in with the assist. Returning. Tyler Ferguson, the fallen angel, helped his friend Crunkman retain his extreme title, but more importantly, get rid of Black Dahlia. Here is your winner. contest is a last man standing match and it's for the world heavyweight wrestling championship ladies and gentlemen this match is gonna be 
great. Steve Murphy has never won the world championship. And tonight he has that opportunity going one on one with Jay Fatal, even after everything Brad Miller threw in front of him. Mixed reaction by the crowd. Murphy has definitely left his mark here in FMW. On the grandest stage of them all, can Murphy pull it off against one of the absolute greats in this business, the Prophet of Pain, Jay Fatal. The leader of Fatal Mafia is never one to back down from a fight. So this tonight is going to be an absolute well, last man standing match. Here he is, your FW World Heavyweight Champion, Jay Fatal. You know, a lot of people have said if he would have started sooner in FMW, and FMW wouldn't have took the hiatus it did, Jay Fatal would be a multiple-time World Heavyweight Champion, and I would stand by that statement. I think they would be correct to say so, because I think if FMW would have been running for as long as it could have been, Jay Fatal would definitely be a multiple time FMW World Heavyweight Champion. Jay Fatal soaking this moment in, enjoying the crowd, enjoying being FMW World Heavyweight Champion, and knowing he's about to embrace on the fight of his life. And a man like Steve Murphy. And there it is, the FMW World Heavyweight Wrestling Championship. One of the most prestigious titles left in EFET. Introducing the challenger from London, England, weighing in at 245 pounds, Steve Murphy. Introducing the champion from Dallas, Texas, weighing in at 285 pounds, he is the World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion, Jay Jay Fatal has to hand over the title, which he did. And now they're showing it to Steve Murphy, who did not take his eyes off Fatal to even look at the belt that he's been dying to get. <coughs> and ladies and gentlemen, this match is about to take off. Newcastle is ready, and the belt has rung. Murphy, Fatal, Fatal with Arena. Fatal coming in hard here in this last man standing match. Taking Murphy out of the ring. Ooh, stomping away at the back of the skull of Murphy. Oh, man, into the steel steps. Ladies and gentlemen, a victory could happen anywhere as long as someone 
hits the mat or hits the ground and does not get up for the 10 count. Murphy bouncing fatal off of the steps and then a knee to the face. Oh, fatal fight back. Oh, Murphy with a well calculated knee. And then now coming in with a, oh, but arm drag by Fatal. And now caught, Fatal spins him around, slams him on his back. Oh, and now tearing apart an announce table. And guys, I got people ready for this main event, ready to bring in tables back and forth if we need to. So excuse maintenance if you see them running around over here replacing tables. And it looks like Fatal's looking to put, oh, just a right hand. Oh, and he's, he's gawking at my announce team that help us get this around the globe. Chad Money Wrestling. And Steve Murphy into the ring, Fatal to his feet. Oh, back out, I don't know what that was about, but now Fatal has come back to memory in a suplex. Fatal, oh, Murphy there being drugged over. Oh, back in fourth, folks. Oh, look at this. Murphy Pal Driver. And then picks Fatal right up. Oh, and then Fatal somehow fighting back after that Pal Driver. And Murphy not stopping there with some rights and left, some rights, some chops, and sends him into the ring. And now a count Murphy stops away at Fatal. Oh, going after the leg. And now Murphy sizing up Fatal. Oh, knee to the midsection. Oh, man. Look at that, guys. Blackout by Murphy, a move that he has used very well lately. Now kick to the back, Murphy. <coughs> Another kick to the back. Another kick to the back. Murphy is just trying to break down Jay Fatal. Oh, and going across the face. Oh, and a massive elbow in one. Count was starting by the ref. Oh, right hand by Fatal takes down Murphy. Oh, and he launches Murphy across the ring. The strength of Jay Fatal, the prophet of pain, is unmatched, folks. Right hand by Fatal. Fatal now picking Murphy up. Sends him into the ring. Oh, into the corner in a massive uppercut. Jay Fatal wasting no time here. And Murphy spun around, but Jay Fatal quick. An electric chair? No, oh, over the rope. Hung him on the rope. Ow, that had to hurt. Booing from the crowd. Oh, and look at that. Jay Fatal is just so quick, man. No one compares to this guy. And I will tell you time and time again, this man right here would have been a multiple time World Heavyweight Champion if everything would have aligned. But nonetheless, here we are. Last man standing match, Murphy who's fought his way tooth and nail to get here. You gotta know that took an impact on his body against a very fresh Jay Fatal, except for the tag team match they were in, which was pretty brutal, I will admit. So maybe not at 100%. Oh, and send him over the top rope. Fatal in hot pursuit. Fatal tearing apart the announce table. after we'd already got it put back together. Anyway, and what's fatal? Oh, a scoop slam right there on the mat. Outside of the ring, that isn't much padding, folks, between that, oh, and fatal looking to put Murphy through it. Hang on, this might be having the profit of pain, might be inflicting some pain, and he does, oh my God! The ribs of Murphy. 
across the edge of that announce table. And Fatal going after the other announce table now. Oh, right hand from Murphy. Oh, right hand from Fatal. Oh, Murphy reverses. Oh, kicks. Oh, no, blocked by Fatal. Fatal now has Murphy up. Oh, and he suplexed him onto the already broken table. And Murphy proud of himself. Oh, what's this? Oh, Fatal. Oh, I mean, Fatal was proud of himself. And then a frog splash for Fatal from the inside. Top rope. Oh, my God. Fatal pulling a lifeless Murphy now. The prophet of pain. Oh, sending Murphy into the table. Oh, but not through it this time. Just off of it. My God. Oh, and into it again. Oh, and off it again. Fatal being relentless. Oh, but he missed there. Murphy somehow must have knocked his fucking shit back together because he's he's fighting back now. Knocked him back to consciousness. And Murphy sending Fatal for a run. Murphy kicking the bow and he's signaling for the end of the match there. Oh, rakes the eyes. Totally legal in this match. And now going for the count. Murphy in the... Oh, but Fatal straight up. Murphy didn't realize. Fatal again yelling at the crowd and at the announce team. Oh, right hand. Oh, kick missed. Oh, what an elbow by Murphy. And now Murphy has Fatal and spins around and plants him. Oh, up goes Fatal. Oh, into that table. Fatal looking to put Murphy through it. Again. Oh, nope, just off it. Just off it. Oh, and Arena afterwards. That's what he's looking to do the first time. Fatal proud of himself there. Fatal now picking Murphy up. Kick to the midsection. What is Fatal looking for here? Oh, he's looking for G-Code. G-Code outside of the ring. Oh, he's going to hit his head on the announce table, too. My God. Off the announce table as well. Might have broke the nose of Steve Murphy. And Fatal now proud of his work standing above the body. And somehow Murphy make his way to his feet. And the fight continues. <coughs> Murphy's fatals. Murphy suplex fatal fatal straight back to his feet. Outside of the ring and oh <laughs> fatal countered. Send Murphy right into the announce table and off it again. Oh, and off the corner. Oh, and off the corner again. Fatal is being absolutely relentless against Murphy. Fatal, look at him. Fatal just standing there by that table. Oh, in the ring, he chases Murphy. Right hand, goes for a kick. Murphy dodges. Murphy over the top rope by Fatal. Fatal has Murphy on the outside, and oh, he brings him in. Oh, what's Murphy, what's Fatal looking for? Oh, reversal by Murphy. Fatal trying to make his way to his feet, but Murphy caught him before he could get up. And after the arm. Murphy going to attack Fatal right hand. Oh, Fatal again throws him to the outside. Oh, it's Fatal. Oh, shoulder block. Knocks him to the outside. Now Fatal to the top rope. And oh, but mets the knees of Murphy. Murphy clubbing blows to Fatal. Oh, right hand. What's what's Murphy looking for here? Oh, Murphy. Oh, he just bloodied the face of Fatal, breaking it off that announce table. 
Dragging Fatal around again. Oh, off the steel steps. Murphy is getting fired up. Fatal just realized he was busted open, but not before Murphy attacked. Fatal trying to get to his feet. Murphy again going back out to the ring, outside of the ring. Fatal has Murphy, throws him. Fatal again taunting. He is trying to let everyone know that he is the boss here. He is the OG. He is the prophet of pain. Oh, oh, right hand. Murphy, Murphy, oh, Fatal reverses. Oh, and he sends him into that announce table. That announce table has been a weapon this whole match. Oh, and again, Fatal has him lined up. Oh, and just off it. Fatal is literally throwing everything at Murphy, but Murphy just will not go down. Murphy now has Fatal suplex. Fatal got up at four. Oh, Murphy. Oh, went for an elbow, but nobody home. Right hand, chop missed. Oh, but Fatal countered, send Murphy into the ring. Got himself a moment. <coughs> into the corner. Oh, and that uppercut again. Fatal not letting the referee count. And into the other corner. Another uppercut. Fatal has Murphy up again. And he's looking for it again. Yes, he is. G code. Bow! Ladies and gentlemen, this might be the end of the match. Fatal might have just retained the World Heavyweight title. Murphy might have missed his chance. One, two, three, four. What? Wait, what's Fatal doing? Is Fatal going to let him count? Oh, no, he's not. Fatal just planted a chair under the head of Murphy. What's, what's Fatal doing? The crowd is booing. Oh no, he's got another chair, guys. Fatal has another chair. Oh no. Fatal, no, no, no! Oh my God. Ladies and gentlemen, Fatal just concertoed Steve Murphy's skull in between those two I'm ladies and gentlemen I don't, I don't think Murphy can get up Six. Seven. Fatal oh Fatal not letting the referee count again Fatal just he has Murphy into the other corner oh and a clothesline into the other corner Oh wait, Murphy reversed. Murphy's alive. Murphy's slow though. Both competitors have slowed down tremendously. Fatal making his way back to his feet. Murphy trying everything. Oh, Fatal stood right before him. Oh, is he looking for blackout? Blackout! <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I think he caught Fatal's head on that steel chair. And now the referee going for the count. One, two, three. Ooh, Fatal got up at four, or three, sorry. Four was not mentioned. Oh, and he's going for it again. Blackout. Ladies and gentlemen, Murphy is now just absolutely giving it to Jay Fatal. Jay Fatal still trying to make his way to his feet like the boss he is. 
And Murphy again. Uh, on the steel chair! Oh, but Mur but Fatal goes to get right back up. Completely no sells the pow driver and then lays down for a three. Murphy is absolutely pissed off now. Oh, bounces his head off the steel chair again. Oh man, Fatal still getting up. On that steel chair again! Play Joe, this has to be it. Oh my. Fatal looks bloodied and dead. What? Fatal sat up like the Undertaker. And Murphy again going right after him. Oh, his head hits the back of that steel chair on the leg. Oh, and Murphy sizing up here. Fatal, don't stand up. Oh, he's looking for it again. Is he, is he going to hit him on that steel chair? And he does on the steel chair. On the steel chair, he blackouts. Jay Fatal for the third time, or maybe fourth time. I've lost count, folks. Wait, Joe, this could be it. Ladies and gentlemen, Fatal is not moving. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve Murphy has just become the World Heavyweight Champion! Unbelievable, ladies and gentlemen, Steve Murphy has climbed from the very bottom to the top. If you thought you couldn't achieve it, Steve Murphy just proved that you just put your nose to the pavement and keep pushing, and eventually you too can accomplish your goals. Here is your winner, and new world heavyweight wrestling champion, Steve Murphy. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations, Steve Murphy, on finally becoming world heavyweight wrestling champion. That's all we have for you tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed Fighter Frenzy 2. And I will see you on the next one. Wait, what's going on? Oh, guys, guys, Braxton has just met Murphy backstage. My, that's Michael Braxton. Michael Braxton. Braxton is attacking Murphy backstage. Oh, man! <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I was about to walk away, take my headset up, and go kick it with the boys in the back. And then all of a sudden I get told, hurry, hurry, get back to the mic, get back to the mic. And they throw up. Murphy was walking. I watched him go through the curtain. And then all chaos broke out. I guess Braxton has made his way into the arena and is now attacking Steve Murphy after an incredible match against Jay Fatal. Oh, Murphy bounced his head off that medical or that electrical box. Murphy fighting back. Oh, but he's so worn out after fighting last man standing with Jay Fatal. <coughs> Oh, and Murphy attacking Braxton. Oh, what's that? Braxton now. Dragging Murphy. Oh, man. Oh, Braxton dodged. Murphy swung. Braxton swung. Oh, kick to the nuts. Another kick. Braxton is just giving it to Murphy. The new World Heavyweight Champion is being... Attacked backstage, guys. 
Oh, elbow from Braxton. Kick, or sorry, from Murphy trying to fight back. Oh, Braxton, though, having none of it. Oh, and a kick from Braxton. Braxton grabbing that steel chair. Oh, unloading on the new World Heavyweight Champion and then throws it down. Oh, look at this, Braxton. Oh, knee to the face. And still attacking. The V trigger was not enough as Braxton wants to see blood. Security is in route, guys. As soon as we can, they were helping escort people from the arena. Oh, choking now the life out of Murphy. Braxton fired up. We haven't seen Braxton since he walked away from FMW to go on Independence. I don't know what he's doing back here, but you know he's friends with Brad Miller, so it can't be good. Oh, he kicked the leg out of Murphy. Oh, stomps on the back of the head. And still attacking, guys. I don't know when security's gonna be there. Oh, attacking. Still going for it. Sends Murphy again the other way. Murphy needs to get to that steel chair. Murphy, look the other way. Murphy, look the other way. Oh, Murphy's in a bad spot, guys. Murphy's in a bad spot. Braxton has him. Oh, what's this? Braxton, pile driver on the concrete. Stomp. Man, absolutely sickening. Folks, this is not good for Steve Murphy. Kick to the middle of the back and now choking the life out of Murphy. And now punching away. Oh, security is right around the corner, guys. This is all the time we got, though. Security's gonna be there in a moment. We will see you on the next one. <laughs> Come on, security, hurry up. Jesus Christ. If you're watching this, you got all the way through Fighter Frenzy. My hair's a mess. I just got done recording Fighter Frenzy. I'm sitting here relaxing, enjoying some time, and uh, started reminiscing. It was 2019. I had just been stabbed by my best friend. I didn't know what I wanted to do, what I was going to do. I separated myself from friends and family. I hid in my house. I had been in an EFED. Alliance Pro Wrestling, Armstrong Pro Wrestling, and I knew I could, I knew I, I had the ability and the time to do a show. So I sat down and I created Fat Money Wrestling. I put out a flyer. I had a roster quick. It was so easy to find talent back then. I had friends. Friends in high places, friends in low places. Friends uh, that people didn't have. Resources people didn't have. Uh, Jeremy King Chaos. He took me under his wing back in APW. I'm always be grateful for him. Um, I, I can talk to to any one of the greats anytime I want just because of the positioning I was in uh, I want to thank uh, Enrique for that Enrique uh, the owner Ricky uh, Armstrong the, the the owner of APW he, he put me in a place to where I can do this and I've been doing this since 2019 
where at the end of Fighter Frenzy 2, I probably put on one of the best storylines all the way across the board. Every match had its own story. And we're not done. I'm far from over. I created this new schedule, which you can find on our group page, to ensure that. I want to continue to do this. I appreciate all you guys. I want to thank uh, Rob Roman, New Era Wrestling. I want to thank Jeremy King Chaos, uh, Ricky Armstrong. I want to thank uh, all you boys in the locker room, uh, Murphy, uh, Stephen Monday. I want to thank you. I want to thank uh, Jeff Blade. Thank you. ADM, thank you. Uh, Venom, Trey Dollars, thank you, buddy. Uh, you know, just there's a lot of people to name. Uh, creative, uh, Tyler, Aaron, Steven. Th thank all you guys. Because if it wasn't for you guys, there wouldn't be no FMW. I got lost for a year. But in that year, I got to do some great things. I got to be a part of MIW. That was an accomplishment all its own. I got to run off on a crazy course. And then when I realized that I was lost and went to go back, I tried to do, do CWE. And, and, and every time I went to even just start it up, I just sat there and I was like, it's, it's not FMW. Because nothing can compare to FMW to me. FMW used to be great. We're starting to get there again. It's because of all you guys watching this. All you guys on the card. All you guys at promo. All you guys that help. Just thank you guys. I'll see you July 31st. Extreme to the Case pay-per-view, and that's where we'll pick up. That card will be out as soon as Fighter Frenzy 2 is over. Well, it's one for the money, two for the show, three to get ready, now go, cat, go, but don't you step on my blue suede shoe.